Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to do list reduction in Python and by list reduction I mean if you have a list like this for example my list equals 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 uh, in list reduction what we do is we apply something to the first two elements get a result and then pair that result with the third element apply the same process get a result pair it with the fourth element uh, apply the process and then pair the result with the fifth element and so on and so forth so we get first and second then get a result, apply it, uh, add it to the third, get a result, combine it with the fourth, and so on and so forth. If you look at this simple example here, what I'm doing here is I have a list of numbers and then I'm basically adding all the numbers to get in the end one result. And I say here result equals zero and then for e in my list for all the elements, print e and result and just say result equals result plus e. So basically just have like a sum of all the elements. If I do that, then if you see here, I get in the beginning my first element is 2, result was 0, and then we, uh, the second element is 4, and now result is 2 because we've added 2 to 0, and then the, the current element um, is 6, and then because we've added 2 to 4, the result is 6, and so on and so forth, and in the end, result now is 30, as you can see, right? You know, we can do that with uh, list comprehension and mapping and things like that, but there is, uh, inside this package, func tools, uh, we have this reduce method, which we can use quite easily in, uh, as, as you can see, with a lambda um, expression, or with a lambda function, right? So we can see here, we, what, what we can say here is, of course, import it first, and then say result equals reduce lambda x and y. So x and y will, repair, will basically re represent the pairs of elements. And then here I say x plus y, so, and then I pass it my list, and what it'll do, it'll take the first and second element, add them, and then keep track of the result, and then get the third element, pair it with the result, add it, and then get the fourth element, pair it with the result, and so on and so forth, until it reaches the last element, and I get my result back. If I apply that, now result should be the same value, 30. I hope the idea makes sense. Nice and easy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.